Okay, um, we're going to spend the next several videos deriving derivatives for uh, inverse hyperbolic functions. And we're going to get started here by considering the inverse hyperbolic sine function. And what we want to find then is an expression for this ddx of inverse hyperbolic sine of u. Now, this is where we need to remember some information from our previous uh, videos. If we say, for example, the inverse hyperbolic sine of u, so we call that y, remember now there is a, uh, a logarithmic expression for this, and that is y would be equal to the natural log of u plus the square root of u squared plus 1. Now we want to find this derivative with respect to x. That would be the same thing as finding the y dx, which means we're going to be doing logarithmic differentiation. So let's see how it goes. We have dy dx will equal, and I take the derivative of this, first thing is it's 1 over whatever expression is inside the logarithmic sign. So we have 1 over u plus the square root of u squared plus 1. And then it's this times the derivative of this. So let's see, we're going to have here the derivative of this here is just du dx. And then this is u squared plus 1 for the one-half power. So we take this derivative, it's going to be one-half times u squared plus one to the minus one-half power times the derivative of what's inside, and that's going to be two times u to u dx. We don't need this in a way any longer. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, these will cancel. And we can factor this out, so let's do some of that. This will equal 1 over u plus square root of u squared plus 1 times this is going to be 1 plus u divided by this. And that's the square root of u squared plus 1. And this is times du dx. Okay, let's see. In the 1, we could write this as the square root of u squared plus 1 divided by the square root of u squared plus 1. So let's do that. u squared plus 1 divided by the square root of u squared plus 1. So this will equal 1 over u plus the square root of u squared plus 1 times, here we have square root of u squared plus 1 plus u divided by this, square root of u squared plus 1, and we can just write it like this now, 
times du dx and square root of u squared plus 1 plus u square root of u squared plus 1 plus u these will cancel out and this becomes equal to 1 over square root of u squared plus 1 u dx and that is the y dx that's what we were selling for all the long here but the y dx y is this so the y dx is this so now we can say that d dx of the inverse hyperbolic sine of u equals this. And it's not too hard to get to, um, but it was important now to remember that with inverse hyperbolic functions, they do have a logarithmic expression. And that's what you want to remember because that's what you're going to differentiate. And then once you do that, here's what we do the calculus and the rest of it. It is just doing the algebra to get down to our final expression. And that's it. There's no more to it than that. Um, come back and join us for some more videos. In the next one we'll see if we can derive an expression for the inverse hyperbolic cosine of u. Should be very similar to this. Okay, come back and join us for that and let's see how it turns out.